Hello friends, hope you guys are having an amazing day so far. Um, all right, so we are really finishing up this book. We have a few chapters left. I think by next week we should be done. Um, and this is the Jesus Storybook Bible by Sally Lloyd-Jones. It's been amazing um, to go through this book with you guys. Yesterday's story was on, um, <coughs> excuse me. Um, the chapter was called A Dark Night in the Garden. And it was in the Garden of Gethsemane the night before Jesus Christ was crucified. And it was based on Luke 22, Mark 14, and uh, John 18. And today we're going to look at the crucifixion. And I'm just so curious to see how this author uh, explains the story. Um, just to go in the theme with the fact that in the Old Testament you see all these stories pointing to a hero that's going to come. The hero finally comes. And a day has come for ultimate atonement and um, redemption to um, to happen. So, okay, the title of the story is called "The Sun Stops Shining." So you're a king, are you? The Roman soldiers jeered. Then you'll need a crown and a robe. They gave Jesus a crown made out of thorns and put a purple robe on him, and pretended to bow down to him. Your Majesty, they said. Um, then they whipped him and they spat on him. They didn't understand that this was the prince of life, the king of heaven and earth who had come to rescue them. The soldiers made him a sign, our king, and nailed it to a wooden cross. They walked up a hill outside the city. Jesus carried the cross on his back. Jesus had never done anything wrong, but they were going to kill him the way criminals were killed. He was innocent. And again, we talked about the day before um, or in the story before that he willingly went. Jesus is God. He is uh, omniscient and he is all powerful. He has all the power in the world. Um, obviously because he created life out of nothing. He spoke life into existence. So he has all the power in the world. Yet he willingly submitted himself to the Roman soldiers for him to take him, for them to take him, and then now ultimately, obviously, to be crucified. So this is Jesus right here, the Roman soldiers taking him, and he's carrying his cross with his robe and his uh, crown of thorns. They nailed Jesus to the cross. Father, forgive them, Jesus gasped. They don't understand what they are doing. So even then, Jesus is still praying for his accusers. Even then, Jesus is still praying for those who are making him suffer so much, okay? Um, you say you've come to rescue us, people shouted, but you can't even rescue yourself again because he was willingly doing this for us. But they were wrong. Jesus could have rescued himself. A legion of angels would have flown to his side if he'd call. If you were really the son of God, you could just climb down off that cross, they said. And of course, they were right. Jesus could have just climbed down. Actually, he could have just said a word and made it all stop. Like when he healed the little girl, remember that? Like when Jesus healed all these miracles that we see. I love how she's bringing us back to all those miracles to show how powerful he is, that he could have absolutely come, in, come down. Um, how, so how he healed the little girl and he stilled the storm and he fed the 5,000 people. So Jesus again is God. He is all powerful. But Jesus stayed. You see, they didn't understand. It wasn't the nails that kept Jesus there. It was love. So him being there on the cross, be there thinking, well, you can't come down because of nails, right? You are limited. And Jesus is like, no, what's holding me up here is the love that I have for you guys because I want you guys to have reconciliation now with the Father because you guys have sinned. And because of your sin, you can't. It is impossible. But God loves us so much that he, had, he was already working on this secret plan. Remember, she was telling a secret plan from the beginning to rescue us. So Jesus was obedient to God the Father to the point of death and death on the cross. And he did it um, for love. Papa, Jesus cried, frantically searching the sky. Papa, where are you? Don't leave me. And we think a lot of times that the suffering that Jesus did 
was physical, and it was, absolutely. If we sit here and try to imagine what he went through on the cross, um, it was unbearable. I think I heard the story that um, men usually would have lasted a whole day, but because of the beating, right, that Jesus had received and how bad, you know, the torture was, he only lasted six, six hours, and that's how bad it was. So, yes, it was bad, but the worst thing is that because he was carrying the sins of the whole world on his back, on his shoulder, everything was poured on him. God's wrath was poured on him. God had to leave him. So it was the, the absence of not having his heavenly father with him that was the worst. God himself had to turn his back on his son so that he was able to carry the sins of the whole world and ultimately pay for them okay so that's why he was like papa don't leave me i'm here right so his humanness is like I, I i need you and for that first time for the first time and the last time when he spoke nothing happened just a horrible endless silence god didn't answer he turned away from his boy tears rolled down jesus face the face of the one who would wipe away every tear from every eye so he was crying and he was going to be the one to, to wipe the tears from everyone because real hope was going to come from him. So this is Jesus right here and this is the sign that the Romans had done to kind of laugh at him as a mockery. Even though it was a midday, a dreadful darkness covered the face of the world. The sun could not shine. The earth trembled and quaked. The great mountain shook rocks split in two until it seemed that the whole world would break that curtain itself would tear apart the full force of the storm of god's fierce anger at the at sin was coming down on his son instead of his people who deserved it we who deserved it it was the only way god could destroy sin and not destroy his children whose hearts were filled with sin so he wanted to destroy sin and not us, his children. So the only way was for pretty much God himself, right? Jesus to pay for it. Then Jesus shouted out in a loud voice, it is finished. Then Jesus shouted out, sorry, and it was, he had done it. Jesus had rescued the whole world. Father, Jesus cried, Jesus, Jesus cried, I give you my life. And with a great sigh, he let himself die. Strange clouds and shadows filled the sky, purple, orange, black, like a bruise. Something so important here, it says that Jesus gave his life. No one took his life. He gave, he, um, gave his spirit up to God, meaning he was the one who gave his life. No one killed him. Yes, they tortured him. Yes, their intentions were to kill him. But at the end of the day, because he is still God himself, he was the one who willingly gave his life. Okay, so here's the three crosses because we know of the, three, the other two, um, she, she doesn't get into it, but the other two thieves that were crucified with Christ over here. I love the colors in the sky because she um, described them as black, blue, red, like a bruise, right? So the world was bruised by what had happened. Jesus' friends gently carried Jesus. They laid Jesus in a new tomb carved out by rock of rock. How could Jesus die? What had gone wrong? What did it mean? They didn't know anything anymore, except they did know their hearts were breaking. So they were puzzled. They were like, this is God himself. And they believed that he was God himself. In so many ways, he made it clear to them and they understood. And that's why they were like, what's going on? You are God and you're dead? That's the end of Jesus, the leader said. But just to be sure, they sent soldiers to guard the tomb. They, haul, they hauled a huge stone in front of the door to the tomb so that no one could get in or out. This is it right here. This is the Roman soldiers. And this is the huge rock they put in just to make sure nobody would steal the body or would try to go in there, okay? So that's the end of the crucifixion. And tomorrow we're gonna to see God's wonderful promise, okay? So again, just remember here, Jesus willingly gave his life. He was innocent. And the worst part of it all was um, having God, his father, turn his back on him 
Why? Because he was filled with the sins of everyone, the world, our future sins, our past sins, everything he carried for us, okay? All right, guys, that's about it. Hopefully, I will see you guys tomorrow or... Yeah, I'll do my best to go live tomorrow so we can, not live, Bible study. <laughs> I used to go live, these are, these are Bible studies uh, tomorrow. So yes, don't forget that our hope in life and death is in Christ Jesus, which is what, um, yeah, what I try to show, obviously what the messages that I wanna show you guys, what I want to portray to you guys um, and everything that I do and say here in this channel. So love you all, stay tuned for a few messages for myself and I will see you in my next video, bye. Hello friends, thank you so much for taking the time to watch my videos. It really does mean the world to me that you guys take the time to watch his videos. I really appreciate it, so thank you, thank you very much. I have a few messages to share with you guys. They are not long at all, I promise. So number one, I accept prayer requests. Um, me and my family have a list that we pray for every single day. So if you want us to add you and your prayer requests to our list, just go ahead and message me. Either leave a comment below or contact me through any of the social uh, media platforms that I have and we will go ahead and add you to our prayer list. Number two, if you are on Instagram, you should totally be following me. Why? Because I post a lot more content there than I do here, obviously, on YouTube. I post pictures of my kids, recipes, and such. So if you are on there, go ahead and follow me. And number three, if you are not already part of this family, go ahead and subscribe to this channel. You can hit the subscription button below and the notification bell so that you can get notified every time I upload a new video. We have so much fun here in this channel. I share with you guys recipes, I do Bible studies, I do makeup reviews, I do vlogs, I do videos with my kids. So if you wanna go ahead and join our family, like I said, go ahead and subscribe. All right guys, that's about it. Have an amazing day and I will see you in my next video. Bye.